Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we have this 2023 Honda Pilot and we're gonna do the front grille chrome delete installation for this vehicle. So as you can see, this is how it looks before the installation. It's just a regular front grille panel. And this is how it looks after the installation. So we use the gloss black material, that way it matches the vehicle color. Link for the product will be in down in the description below. But with that being said, let's get started with the installation video. So before starting with the installation, we need to make sure we prep the panel. So to prep it, you could either wash the vehicle beforehand, just make sure if you wash the vehicle, just make sure that the panel is completely dry. Or another method you could use is just applying water with baby shampoo on a bottle, spraying it on your microfiber towel, and just cleaning the surface or the panel that you're going to be working on. But also just make sure once you're done cleaning the panel, you make sure everything is dry. And once you finish prepping the panel, we're ready to get started with the installation. So we're going to start by installing the piece that goes in the middle grill section. So with this one, you can start from either end. Just make sure wherever you start, you align it from one end, meet it to the other. And if you have excess material, you would just trim it off and cut it right in between where the cutout is for the grill. So for example, let's say we start here. Make sure you give yourself enough room for coverage. Cover all of the chrome. And all you're doing is just lifting the film and tagging it down. To make things easier, you can lift the hood just so the installation process can be faster. Just as long as you make sure you cover everything on the chrome side, that's pretty much it. And if you need to adjust the film and lift it, you can, just be careful when you're lifting. So lift it carefully and place the film down slowly. That's pretty much it. And now you grab your squeegee and start tacking the whole film down. Make sure to remove all the air. And if you do happen to have an air bubble that you can't remove, the best tool you could use to remove that air bubble would be a needle. Poke a hole on wherever that bubble is and then apply a little bit of heat. And after applying heat, make sure you go around the bubble and release all that air towards where we poke the hole. So make sure everything's flat and just squeegee everything. And make sure you remove any air on this lower section. And then whatever is remaining, you would tack down. And of course, the extra material, we will trim it off. And then just continue on with the other side. To help it secure on the bottom section, you can also apply heat. So just go little by little, applying heat, just to secure this section. And now the next step is trimming off the extra material. Grab your blade and just make sure you find the gap between this grill here and the side panel here. Once you have found the gap, trim it off. Just be careful, take your time, and then remove that excess material. And then you would do the same for the top. There is a gap between the grill and the plastic trim here. That's where you would do the cutout. Just before you do the cutout, make sure everything's tacked down correctly. So applying heat will help you tack it down faster. Now you would just grab your blade and start trimming off the excess material. And you would trim off the excess material like how we did on this side to the other end and then focus on trimming off the excess material on the bottom half. So for this half, find the gap as well and just trim off the excess material. Once you finish trimming off everything, we're just going to apply heat just to help tack down any edges that are still lifting. And then once you're done heating up the area, you can move on to the other panel. Okay, so now we're moving on to this section here. And remember the same steps that we do for this side of the panel, you would just rinse and repeat on the other side. So for this one, we start off by aligning the film on this edge here. So make sure you align it. And all we're doing is just following the body line of the chrome panel here. So just take your time and apply the whole film. And it should wrap around to this edge. And now all we're going to do here is apply a little bit of heat. That way we help the film tack down to this curve here. So apply heat and with your finger, help it tack down. Let it cool off and then start tacking it down little by little. Once we have this section tacked down, you would just continue on with the rest of the film. Add heat 
if you need to help it tack down. But other than that, you can just squeegee the film to tack it down. And then over there, we'll just trim out the extra material. And right here, since it is a curve as well, same process, lift it and help it tack down to avoid having too many fingers. So lift it, apply heat, and then let it cool off and then tack it down. And just help tuck in the film as much as you can. That way you're able to cover most of the chrome. And then any excess material will get trimmed off. So now that we tack down this whole section, Grab your blade, find the gap between the headlight and the chrome panel, and just trim off the excess material. And now that we secured the bottom half, now we work on the top half. Okay, so for this one, start from this edge and then just work your way to this end. Or to make it a little bit easier on this section, you can start from this end, just align it right on the edge and work your way and then just trim off the extra material on this side. But for this installation, I'll show you how to go about if you do it on this end. So make sure you align it and you're covering all of the chrome and you just apply the whole entire place in and that should be it. And you just grab your squeegee and start tacking down the whole film little by little. And any excess material, we would just trim it off. If you need to lift it and readjust it, you can. Just be careful. Okay, and right here in this edge, we're just going to lift the film and apply a little bit of heat to tack it back down. So lift the film carefully, apply heat, and then tack it back down. Now you have full coverage and now you would just trim off the extra material on this side and like i said the same steps that we did for this panel you would just rinse and repeat it and do it on the other side so find the gap and trim off that excess material and then apply heat and then we could pulse heat afterwards for this installation we're going to include the bezel as well the reason being because there's some honda pilot vehicles that don't come with the bezel installed because there's different trims so some of them do not have the bezel so if your pilot does come with the bezel just make sure prep it before doing the installation and make sure everything is dry and then when it comes to how to go about the installation we recommend starting from this edge align it there place the film work your way to one end so like that lift it here and work your way to the other end if you need to lift it and fix it you can but it's that simple make sure you're covering all of the chrome and any excess material that you do have you would just trim it off right here we're going to just help it tack down with a little bit of heat that way it tacks down to this curve so just be careful not to crease it all i'm doing right now is just helping it tack down so apply heat here to help it tack down to the curve and then just tack it down little by little And then once you finish installing the whole piece, you would just trim off any excess material. Just make sure you don't accidentally trim off too much where you expose the film. So that's why if you can, tuck in as much as possible. That way when you trim off the excess material, it's covering all of the chrome panel. And now just trim off the excess material. Find the gap in between the bumper and the panel. Take your time, go slow on the curve. And then same for the bottom, find the small gap. Start removing the excess material and just continue on with the rest of the film. And then trim off also from the inside of the panel. So just be careful, find the small gap and just trim off the material. And 
Now the last thing to do once finished installing both pieces is just post heating. So we will post this, post heat this one and the panel on top that we worked on. But like I said, if your vehicle doesn't have this bezel part, then you can skip this part. But if it does, this is how the installation goes and you just post heat to finish it off. So now that we're done with the whole installation, the last thing to do is applying heat. That way we post heat all around the film and post heating is just gonna help the adhesive on the film act very faster and also secure any edges that are still lifting. So just post heat all around the film and then once you're done with this process, you're done with the installation. Okay, so that concludes the installation video for the front grille and the bezel chrome delete installation for the 2023 Honda Pilot. We hope that this video helped you guys out with the installation. If it did, don't forget to drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell. That way you don't miss any upcoming installation videos. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.